I've got an old Toastmaster toaster oven. It does have temperature control on it. I only use this for shop projects, uh, warming up bearings or anything I may need to use for the shop. Not used for food anymore, but I thought I'd try it out for drying some printer filament. So I've got a roll of Hatchbox brand uh, black PLA filament and most of the roll's gone and I, I kind of stopped using this just because it was such a pain. Um, here's a short section that had broken off earlier. Um, and so basically you can see it's just super brittle. It just breaks right off. Um, the normal, just with that sitting loaded into the extruder, um, sitting overnight, I'd come back and the filament would be broken and I'd have to reload. And sometimes I couldn't even get it to reload without more snapping off. So decided to try uh, this little toaster oven. And you can see my thermometer up here. This is an instant read thermometer and the end of it is just inside. I did these measurements here are all Fahrenheit. Um, I did just try to just kind of found a spot where temperature was staying pretty stable and marked on there just so I'll know for the future. Um, but this has been going on for about four hours. Um, you can see the spool itself is not warped. The sticker on top is starting to come unstuck. Um, but the spool itself still looks good. So this has been going since 11 a.m. It's now almost 4 p.m. So I think I'm going to uh, turn it off and just let it cool down, get to room temperature, and we'll test it out. Okay, we haven't dropped much. Uh, 38C is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the door open, let it cool a little quicker. And it's warm to the touch, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out um, just to test it out. So you can see the sticker started to shrink a little bit, uh, but that's no big deal. But now you can see I basically fold that back on itself and it's still attached. may have a little weak spot there, but um, definitely not breaking as easy as it was originally. So I'm going to load it in the printer and just try to print something with it real quick, just to make sure all is good. But I think that is a worthwhile piece of equipment for PLA. Uh, you want to be around 40 to probably 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's the glass temperature or when the filament starts to actually transition to a liquid state is around 60 degrees Celsius. Um, for other filament types, that temperature changes. So. Uh, just be sure to research what you're trying to dry out. Okay, so just printed this little key tag thing. Um, printed fine. And now I'm going to let it sit overnight just to make sure that this doesn't snap just sitting there. Uh, because it often would, just sitting overnight. The tension of that just pulling on the spool. What little tension there was would cause it to snap with how brittle it was. Okay, so overnight, um, filament is still unbroken um, and so I think it did did the trick it, it dried the filament out uh, made it less brittle and we'll see how long that lasts a lot of people will say that you can you don't really need to do anything special for storing PLA uh, others seal it in vacuum bags and whatnot I guess it kind of depends on the climate that you live in so my office is down in the basement and I feel like it's fairly dry uh, it is summertime right now and so we've got the air conditioner running that should be pulling humidity out of the air. But I've got two different little um, humidity sensors. This one is showing that it's like 60% humidity in here. It does not feel that humid in here. Uh, this is showing that it's 48%. Uh, once again, it doesn't feel that humid in here. Um, so I think I'm actually going to throw this one in a little sealed container with some desiccant just to see if it will change readings because I don't know how accurate either one of these are. But I think as far as using the toaster oven to dry this filament out, I think it did the trick. But I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you got a, a old toaster oven that isn't really being used anymore, or if you go check uh, garage sales or whatnot, you can probably find one of these pretty cheap. Uh, if it doesn't have temperature control, it's probably not going to work that well. It's probably going to get way too hot for what you need. But like this one, 
The lowest temperature setting was marked at 200 degrees, but I was able to find that happy, happy place where it got it down to 100, 105 degrees. Toaster ovens really aren't intended to like cook anything at 100 degrees, so they maybe they just don't mark those settings. But this just proves that it can be done. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, we'll see you later.